anyone who's bothered to follow my series concerning uh, vegetarianism and ethics will note that I'm not really attacking vegetarianism at all. Um, my diet in my own personal life is largely vegetarian anyway. The only time that I ever eat uh, anything non-vegetarian is when my wife prepares it. I have no desire whatsoever to get into a divisive quarrel with my wife over the merits of vegetarianism. I simply eat the food that I eat, and uh, I eat whatever she prepares for me. She knows that I prefer uh, vegetarian food, uh, but she likes meat. She likes, in particular, pork and fish, like everyone else in Southeast Asia. So I will eat these things when she prepares them. Um, I'm aware of the implications and the butterfly effect that that involves. I understand what is going on here and what is involved in their production, the production of the meat that's involved. But I don't really see what's to be gained by creating a polarizing fight with my wife. Um, what that could uh, lead some people to conclude is that I'm half-hearted about this business of uh, avoiding the harm of animals, but I could also say that, practically speaking, I, one has to pick one's battles, and this is not really a productive battle to pick. There's lots of other ethical dilemmas that I uh, am faced with every second of my life. If I decided I was going to meet them all head-on, I'd probably go crazy, or I'd uh, decide that it's impossible to act ethically in this world and become an antinatalist, or just commit suicide. Sorry, I couldn't resist that. Um, but that doesn't deter me from deliberately avoiding harming animals whenever it's possible, feasible, and less likely to be disruptive in my life. I still move in that general direction, but I'm not perfect. Now, this leads me to the idea that I've harped on before about denunciation to some people. My attitude is to be denounced, uh, because I'm sort of shaking hands with the devil here. I'm tolerating evil. I'm tolerating the horrific enslavement, murder, and oppression of animals. I'm not doing enough. Well, nobody knows whether or not the other guy, the other person, is doing enough to, pr to promote goodness in this world. Because where you fail in one regard, you may make up in the other. And generally it's been my experience that those who denounce the loudest are the ones who are actually doing the least to promote good in the world. Um, in revolutions, uh, when they start off idealistically enough where people say let's overthrow the old order and bring in a new good government, it often degenerates into a witch hunt. The reign of terror in France, the red terror in uh, the Soviet Union or the new Soviet Union when it began in 1917. Um, in uh, a lot of Islamic states, um, the desire is to make a more disciplined society, and they uh, degenerate into an endless witch hunt with public beheadings, floggings, etc. And all the other stuff about making better people gets completely lost in the mix. That's where I sort of say uh, ethics becomes unethical, uh, where punishing the miscreants becomes an end in itself, and actually doing something about the bad things in the world as a lifestyle choice, I may add, not as a, as a crusade in one particular issue, but the idea that I want to be an all-around more ethical and better person, that, that get, gets ignored once you go on the war path to fight uh, the bad people who are committing all the bad things that are taking place in the world. So I'm not really saying that I have any issue whatsoever with vegetarianism. In fact, I am actually very strongly pro-vegetarianism. My ire is generally directed at um, something which may, in, at, at the end of the day, be a bit of a stereotype and a bit of a, even a straw man, maybe. But I think that there's a grain of truth in what I'm saying. The kind of fanatic that, um, or the kind of attitude that says, I'm more moral than you are or you're not being moral enough, you're not trying hard enough, and this issue that we have is so severe that anyone who isn't actually part of the solution is part of the problem. I have huge issues with that little jingle, by the way. If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. It's catchy, but it's very morally problematic. Um, and I think that if we take that 
we're not if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem, sort of a little bit too far, which many of us do, uh, not just militant vegetarians or militant vegans. Uh, you turn a virtue into a vice. That can sneak up on anybody, and any ism, any attempt to improve the world can turn into something oppressive and ultimately immoral, ultimately um, unethical. Why bother trying to do something ethical when you're going to end up being an unethical person in the course of doing it? Ethics is never simple. It's a constant thing that one has to sort of integrate into one's very way of thinking. It's not just all written down somewhere. If you follow these rules in your life, you're somehow a more ethical person. Ethics is in here. It's not some overt action. And the deciding line between ethical and non-ethical non is by no means clear. And when you do try to clarify it, you end up with something like the Taliban or something like the Red Terror in the Soviet Union. Um, I don't think that that's how we spread morals and ethics in the world. We have to take the long road, the wide road, and ultimately the hard road if we're going to uh, make this world a better place. You can't just fix it overnight and quick fixes um, inevitably lead to some sort of disaster or some sort of unintended consequence. I'm not saying anything new here at all, but the very fact that this needs to be brought up periodically um, can actually uh, make one stop and think and examine one's own ethics at any given moment. When do ethics, when do my own ethics become an ethical snare for me? Vegetarianism, if done in the right spirit, is definitely an ethical thing to do. Veganism um, is definitely an ethical lifestyle choice. I will never say otherwise. Um, but ethics can be a trap, a blind alley, and ultimately a contradiction. Thank you.